Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. And we are back in our, well, first home, I guess, cave thing. <laughs> and it's still nighttime outside, but it's about, yeah, it's going to be sunset very soon, uh, sunrise very soon. In fact, it is sunrise. And one thing that I really want to be doing today is not get too close to that skeleton. No, I don't mind the spider. I don't mind the spider that much. Hello. Ow. There we go. We actually have enough for a bow, but I don't have any arrows. But what I will be doing as the first thing. It really annoyed me that I just ran away from my spawn point last time. So I'm going to be doing something. And that is finding it. I have to say though that I did recreate this world. And just to get the... Just to get the um, coordinates of where I spawned. So those are the ones that I'm going towards now. Now the second thing I would really like to do is actually to do some caving. Because I want some iron stuff. We have gold on the surface. <laughs> That's incredible. Alright, let's run here. Um, we are looking for X minus 89. So... All right, we have an arrow and a bone. Nice. So X minus 89. Nice jump. Let's get all the way up here. If we can. Heavy climbing. So minus 89 is the X coordinate. And then Z is, I believe it was minus 213. Let's go. And no, I will not forget where my current shelter is. <laughs> because this is mostly in one direction. So... so oh wait, I passed it. <laughs> Minus 89. And... I think it's this way. Hold on. Just have to check... <laughs> All right, the C coordinate is 113, so that is over here somewhere. So let's go do that. I must say it's a very nice place to spawn. I just wished, wish that I had paid more attention to where I was. <laughs> so now, let's get over here. Climbing, 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 climbing. Yeah, didn't think so. That was too, uh, too. That was too long to jump. So let's move over here. So it's over there somewhere. I think it was yeah, right there actually. Ow. Let's get ow. Let's get ow. <laughs> Down here, and it is one hundred and thirteen minus eighty nine. So it's over here. Minus 89. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, I think I found it. <laughs> this is it. And I do remember that I spawned here and I was looking around this way. So this is the place that I spawned. And the reason I mark it is because so that once we are far into the series, we can go back to this point where everything began. Now, I just have to find my way back, or at the very least, find some caves that are close by. I believe it's in this this direction. Because I came from this direction. Yeah, this, this direction. I'll see you back at home. Hang tight. Okay, so it's actually not that far. You see the torch right over there, above the cursor? I just went from like beyond that hill that I'm pointing to right now. That's the spawn. And this is our current base of operations. So that is actually not that far away. Now what I want to do is to find a nice cave to go mining in. So let's see if I can find that close by. Um, I'll be right back so I don't waste time finding it. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Yeah. I think this will do. So 
our base is right up there somewhere, right there. And I'm actually going to be taking some of this coal here because I will be needing torches. And I do have charcoal, but I just like using coal more. Also, we have gold right there. Plenty, plenty of gold. Too bad it's actually not that useful for anything. Like golden apples, yes. But other than that, not really. Or am I missing something? <laughs> I mean, there are golden carrots as well to give you night vision potions. And also there are, um, yeah, a small bunch of other stuff as well. But it's all in all not a huge usage. It doesn't have a huge usage, if you ask me anyway. Okay, anyway, it's nice to have it here. Okay, so we have iron. Let's just... Yeah, we have a zombie down there. I see him. He's coming. So we have iron and coal right here. That's nice. Let's just deal with this guy. There we go. Let's get this stuff right here first. And then go down. So the way I usually do these caves is that I enter and then I stick the torches to the right side of the wall so that when I have to go out or find my way out I can always follow the torches to my left well that's what I do usually sometimes I also don't do that <laughs> and just get lost which is not great but let's get this coal here because we will need it in the future anyway so we might as well get it now We will be needing it for torches and burning stuff and, well, cooking, not burning, cooking. And yeah, that sort of stuff. So let's get that. So this episode is mostly going to be mining. Just a little bit. Just so we can get some of the basic tools up and running, like iron tools, iron weapons, etc. I will have to start building a house, but I actually don't know where. Uh, I haven't played that much in a mesa biome before. This is actually also good with the gravel because we can use the arrows or the flint and then make arrows if we find feathers. Let's do that. And let's head down. And then if I come to a three, two creepers. Yep, two creepers. Don't blow up, please. Or you can blow up. Fine. Well, he did find gold, so that's nice. Then you, what you can do is place two torches indicating up. These ways are very, um, very known in the Minecraft com community, so you most likely already know this. But in case you didn't, well, there you go. More iron right here. That is nice. Leading to gold. Cool. So we have a skeleton somewhere. Um, we have another creeper here, that's for sure. Okay, I need the shield. Well, we did get gold. <laughs> that's nice. This is leading down. And that light must be lava. Yeah, it's lava. Hmm. Leading to another branch. I think this one is just a dead end. But that isn't. So let's get up here and see where this leads to. Let's be very careful not to slip. <laughs> More gold. The amount of gold here is insane. Like really. Okay, let's I should probably be taking these all soon I <laughs> that's why I'm here. Okay, I was just checking if we had auto jump enabled. I really don't like that. So, I want that disabled. You know what? I will not be going after all the coal. I will you take it if I really need it. But I at least I know where to find some. Because that is a very long process. Um, I probably shouldn't bug that up, but I will. Just because. It's a bit easier and I don't have a bucket with me. 
and I like the lava there because it produces light. So let's do that and maybe we'll need lava in the future. Who knows? So let's get this stuff here. There we go. And another zombie. Hello. Ow. Whoops. Wrong button. <laughs> and another inter intersection. Is that a dead end? I can't see. I'll leave it for now and keep exploring this one. Hello, Skelly. I'll just take the sign first. Or not. No? Fine. Ow. If he wasn't a bad skeleton, like bad at aiming, <laughs> I could easily have been killed right there. Look at my hearts. Oh no. There, that's better. Alright, let's then do this. There we go. Lovely. We also have some more iron here. Leading to... what is that exactly? Okay, it's just a pile of water with gold in it, of course. Gold. It's really nice that there is this much gold here. <laughs> Can't there be a, um, a biome that has this much iron? I mean, the amount of iron here too is amazing. I actually don't know if that is um, increased as well. I just know the gold. Because the Y level is 36, not enough as far as I know to spawn gold ores. Hey, Skelly. That's right, stay right there. There we go. He even gave me a bow. I don't have to worry about that now. That's so cool. Man, the amount of iron. <laughs> it would be nice to find a dungeon or something here. Let's do that. Always have a way out, just in case. Always have a way out, in case you need to run real fast. Okay, how much iron do we have now? Must be a lot. Almost a stack of iron. We can easily get a full set of iron armor and iron tools. Okay, finally it ended. But I do hear water, so there might be another cave close by. But I will now go back and let's go through one of the other ones that we found. Also, I just realized that I didn't bring enough food with me. Great. Down to one pork chop. Okay, so we had another in intersection here. So let's explore it. Shall we? Oh, this looks interesting. Let's just put two torches right there. And this looks very interesting. A ravine even. We have redstone, bunch of gold, obviously. And is that what I think it is? And is that gold or is it? I think it's gold right there. But those are diamonds. We found diamonds, episode two, and we have found diamonds in a ravine. That's really cool. It's going to take a long time to mine all this though. And I do not have the right resources to do it. <laughs> My stone pickaxe is about to break. I only have one torch and one cooked pork chop remaining. So we will remember that diamond and get it sooner than later. Trust me. Because who doesn't want diamonds? And that ravine is really cool. We will be, we will be, um, what's it called? Exploring. Uh, We're going to be exploring that very, very soon. Don't worry about it. Um, where did it come from? Right here. Should we continue a little bit down this path right here? I think we should. Um, all right, out of gravel. That's fine. Yeah, I don't have patience. Um, more iron here, even. Maybe this leads down to the ravine, actually. We also have two more caves here. I'm just going to make some more torches, because I will be needing them. There we go. 
This cave is actually really, really big. Let's try to go a little bit faster here, but still not oversee anything or get surprised attack. Ow. 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 Die. I hate those. <laughs> because it's so easy to get um, surprised attack by a creeper or something jumping right down in, in your face, on your head. Um, yeah. Those are not fun times when that happens. <laughs> there we go. Almost a stack of iron. Let's see, we have more iron down here. Wow, this cave goes on forever. With plenty of resources to be gathered. Okay, I think I will just be... Okay, so this just circles around. That's good. Uh, let's take yep, the iron right here. I'll keep mining till my stone pickaxe, pickaxe uh, breaks and then I'll go back to the surface. More iron. Just one though. Just one. See, another drop down for something to jump on your head. Okay, clear. Let's get this. And my pickaxe just broke. And I hear something. Okay, so my pickaxe just broke. And we have almost a stack of iron. I will be going back to our base and smelt this stuff. I mean, there's plenty of caves to be explored, especially that ravine. Um, and I will do that, most likely in another episode. Because what I want to do right now is to go out, um, go out and, yeah, smelt this ore. I mean, look at all this iron. Smelt this ore that we have mined so far. And then I want to maybe take a look at where to build a house. That's a drop down. Because I want to do that too, right? I don't want to be living in a cave all the time, or do I? Okay, plenty of iron and gold to be mined here. I will remember it and I will mine it because I will be wanting it. So let's follow the torches to our left out of this cave. Here we go. Just be careful not to step in, to step in the lava. More torches, I don't want anything spawning where I have already been. So let's do that, and that's the way out. Just want to see though. <laughs> and here I can just light the entire room with this. I know I've been this way. But, just because, let's do that. A lot of indications. And let's, let's just see where this leads. More gold, more iron. Wow. This place is huge. Not many mobs though, monsters, which is, I guess, good too. <laughs> and this actually leads to the surface as well. And to the sunset. Where are our base? I feel like it's up there. <laughs> but I don't think it, no it isn't. I don't think it is. Let's, um, you know what, let's head back the way we came from. I don't want to get lost again. Alright, back the way we came in climb the hole and see the sky again. Yay! I can't believe we actually found diamond ore. We just can't mine it. <laughs> and it's going to take a really long time to mine all that's in the cave and also what's in the ravine. So that is going to be a long, long, long process. But I think I have a plan and an idea of how I can do it. Not so it's going to be faster for me, but so it's going to be faster for you who's watching. Um, yeah. I think I do. Okay, so what did we get? We got a bow. We got six arrows. Nice. We got three flint. Also nice. And let's just get this in there. We got a bunch of coal. I'm going to be having eight on me and I'm going to be making more furnaces and we 
got 63 iron ore and one gold ore because the creeper blew it up. So, I'm going to be using all this cobblestone to make even more furnaces. I'm going to be placing them there and I think, yeah, this should do. Let's get, yeah, let's get smelting. So, let's do that. Nope, that, 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 and store that for later use. Do that. Just, what you can do is hold down left mouse button if you didn't know, and then it will, um, and then it will evenly split up the stack according to how many slots you want it to cover. So I'm going to, in this case, split it across three. I thought I heard something. Let's do that and do that. And because I heard something, well, I don't have a pickaxe yet. Our first iron ingot. Acquire hardware. Yes. And I can now make an iron pickaxe. Very, very nice indeed. Yes. Isn't it iron pick? Mm. I don't actually know what that means, but okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll just mine some more cobblestone here, right in this wall. Just because I want maybe two more furnaces or something. And then I also want, I still think I will be using stone pickaxes whenever it's possible. But I'm not sure. The iron pickaxe is obviously way faster than the stone pickaxe. And the faster it is, the better. So I might just stick with the iron stuff for now. Um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, that kind of scared me. That does it, zombie. Die, die, die. I'm blocking these things up. There we go. And also this one. I'm gonna plug it just here, I think. I can place a double door. There we go. Yep, I'm gonna place a door and I'm not gonna be placing a door here just yet. Let's make some oak doors and let's place them. Yeah, why not that way? We'll look nice on the inside. And, oh, I need food. I forgot about that. 10, 10, 11. Yes, let's make some iron armor. So we need a helmet. We need boots. We need leggings. And we also need a chest plate. Look at that. Chest plate, leggings, boots, and helmet. But we're missing one important thing. If I can remember how to do it. <laughs> Shield. Now we are talking. Now. We are good to go. Or are we? Nah, not really. Because I don't want to be walking around with this stone sword when I can have an iron sword. So let's upgrade our sword. And we are still having iron smelting. That's amazing. From that little trip with a stone half broken stone pig, I think it was. And we got all this iron. That's amazing. Okay, there we go. I'm also going to be crafting some more torches, there we go. And some more sticks as well. You know what? There are plenty of trees above this shoulder. I will just do that and that and that. There we go. Cool. Now sadly there are going to be some flames left over. Let's smelt that gold right there. Let's get the last ones. And I'm actually going to be making a bucket as the last thing I make with iron for now. And then let's store it down here together with the coal. 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 Yeah, coal. <laughs> okay, now I just need some food. Um, let's use the door, shall we? Is it night time? No, it's not. Is it daytime? Yeah, it's daytime. I can see that on the recording time. <laughs> must be daytime. The sun must just have... 
gone up. So let's see if we can find anything eatable. Also, I want to look uh, for a place to build a house. Um, I guess I could build it a place like right here, like on the cliff, overlooking the swamp and the tiny, tiny, tiny bit of desert at the edge. Also, there are the roofed forest. Hmm. There's just one major problem. Where are all the animals? <laughs> I need food desperately. <laughs> I mean, I can make a, a fishing rod and fish, but I'd much rather right now just find some sheep as well so that I can actually sleep. But it doesn't seem like there is any. Hmm. That might be a problem. When you can't find any animals, look in the roofed forest. There's always, from my experience, plenty of animals. So let's get some sticks as well. Otherwise I will just have to be doing some farming in the next episode, I guess. Which I actually might do. Because if I am going to build a house, that's going to be taking a while, of course. And, well, then that can do its thing. It can grow while I'm building. So it can work like that. So that might be a thing that we want to do sooner than later, actually. Especially since, well, another came in, I think, or just a dead end. Especially because we are very low on animals nearby. So I have to be thinking of other food sources than animals and in this case wheat or carrots and potatoes if we get any of those from either a village or a zombie the roofed forest and I do see a pig but we have to remember that I did come and kill most of the pigs that were here the first episode so I will have to go deeper into the roofed forest Oh, it's raining as well. Well, I can live with that. I don't mind the rain. Especially in 1.12, the um, rain sound is really, really cool. Okay, looks like we have a large amount of pigs here. So... Sorry, guys. Two hits now. That's nice. I'm gonna get another running. <laughs> There we go. Let's get some food. Hey, picky. Sorry, guys, but it has to be done. It has to be done. What else is in this area? Let's take a look. I cannot run, so but I shouldn't have, have the need to anyway. Let's just climb up here to see what we can see. Maybe we'll see a nice plains area. Actually, I do remember seeing a plains area over there. Somewhere I think it was in that direction. Past the... Oh. Past this, the um, swamps. I will have to re-eat some raw pork chop right now. Just because I'm going in this fight. Hey, Scully. Now you can't do me anything. Wake up. Yeah. Not today, thank you. Indeed. Goodbye. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love the shield. Um, yeah. I think there was some planes over in that direction. And I do like building in planes biome. Just because it's nice and flat. And you can have farms nearby. Because there's yeah grass and dirt. And it's easy to do. So I might be doing that. I don't know if I'm going to be staying in the maze biome. But I'm certainly going to be staying close to it. And I hear a spider. A little spidey. Want a taste of my iron sword? Ow. Or should I say the shield? Because you do try to bite through the shield, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to taste like wood and iron. Because that's what's in it. Yeah, right there I think you can just barely see it from the fog of the rain. So, yeah. That's another option. I think I might 
in the next episode mainly going to be looking after that because I do want in a Minecraft world as one of the first first things I'd like that to be building a house so I have a place to call home and you know what somebody even just f okay fine I can't deny a battle there we go there we go and dead I'm not going to be fighting you creeper just because no. So I can't run. Okay, he's not following. Good. Wait. Isn't this the place? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, this definitely ain't the place. Over there. What? Oh man. That's gonna be it. Ow! Dangerous trip home. <laughs> Very dangerous. Okay. We can do it. So let's find our way through back to the shelter. I do realize that this episode is quite long. I apologize for that. But, well, just from mining and then making armor, etc., it's rather long. Also, there's a cave in here or something. Or the zombies on the other side. Yep. Let's just go. Let's just go home. Yeah, so I think in the next episode, I'm most likely... Oh, hello. Man. Well, it wasn't that big of a hole. Whoa. Well, your aim is kind of bad, I say. Man, these guys are no match now that we have this shield. That's amazing. Three creepers waiting for me to get home. Completely surrounding the perimeter. Not very nice. Well, I have 11 arrows. One arrow do two and a half out of damage-ish. So I can at least take those two out, I think. Let's do it. Arrow. 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 That was three arrows. And one, two. Oh, that was easy. And lots of XP and gunpowder. And zombies, etc. etc. I just gotta really get back. <laughs> get some food before I actually do die. So let's get down here and let's get into safety. Complete safety, I think. Or hope anyway. Let's fix that. That's annoying me a bit. There we go. Let's cook this food and let's put this gunpowder away. And I do, now that we have an extra bow, want to do that. There we go. Nice. Eat some food. Eat another food. There we go. And regenerate. And I think that will be it for this episode. Very nice. We got a very huge amount of iron. We got a bucket. We got full iron armor. We got iron sword, iron pickaxe, a shield. And also we got 30 iron ingots and also the gold ingots should be done. There we go. Nice. Yes. We did a lot of things today, I think. So in the next episode, I most likely either will be setting up a farm, most likely. And maybe also be looking for a place to build a house. We'll have to see. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Let's just do this and that and yeah. Alright. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Wee.